All right, come on in, hit the like button, think about subscribing if you're already. If you're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion slash review for the 2023 Paramount Plus series called Lawman Bass Reeves. Now here's the plot. About the legend, this is about the legendary lawman Bass Reeves, one of the greatest frontier heroes and one of the first black deputy U.S. Marshals west of the Mississippi River from 1838 to 1910. Now here is the cast. So either early this year or about a year ago, I came across an independent film from 2019 about Bass Reeves. And honestly, don't remember much about it other than he was a slave that escaped, then became a lawman later on. I didn't even remember this fact, the fact that Frank Grillo's was the villain in it. But the series itself was easily more memorable than the film and from what I could remember about the story after re-watching the trailer for the 2019 film, this story was way, way more fuller, detailed, and so much better. Even though the story was kind of a drag for a couple of, for, of the first episodes, I definitely found myself lost in the character played by David O. right away and from beginning to end. He really did a great job. Uh, Bass Reeves is a very interesting and deep character. I don't know how much this is true, but what I got was he's a God-loving man with dignity, respect, and determination with a very interesting look at human life. He has this very long and complex story arc that definitely makes you feel different sides to him. Now, it started out mad, but it builds and gets better. However, for me, the, the build is a bit slow to get to the heart of everything. Now, here is my ready, and I'll come back with my font thoughts. Definitely not a pure action packed Western series like you typically get with, uh, you know, Hollywood these days. Um, more action, less story. But with this, I got a good storytelling with shot shootouts thrown in a good amount of places. Personally, I wish the pacing of the story was a little faster, but not by a whole lot needed, to be honest. But still a pretty good Western series that I actually do recommend. Uh, I am a huge fan now of David O. Portrayal of Matt Bass Reeves, uh, and I wish to see more um, of him. You know, um... But is it needed? I by how it ended is what confuses me. That when they say that the uh, there's a strong possibility of a season two, how they ended it made it really all um, polished and and uh, you know just tied up at the end. You know a really neat ending of of combining everything, giving a conclusion, and all that stuff. I mean, they kind of hint at like a little bit of something on the with the side uh, story, but um, that's really about it, and I don't think that justifies a second season. Um, but either way, I, I'm, I'm excited if they do actually go with the second season to see how it goes, because he's a really cool character, very rounded, very detailed, and, you know, he's his... The, David O's acting was really, really good. I am a little bit thrown off by the old Southern, kind of really old Southern accent uh, he had. Um, but I believe that back then and long even before they had different kind of questionable dialogue and, and accents along there. Because some of the dialogue in there, I like half of it, I didn't understand. I understand what they're saying. Um, but it is a time period. It's the 1800s to very, very early 1900s. So, um, but yeah, but let me know your comments down below. Um, yeah, so I am back and I will have one more video this week or Monday, depending. But, uh, either way, remember, I love you all. Please stay safe. Spread the love most importantly. Skull.